can't do it anymore. I can't. Comments, posts, I quit. Oh, what's up guys? Uh, Jason here, more Mixology Reptiles in the snake room, I guess. Um, as I'm sure you saw in the, uh, the thumbnail and the title, I can't do it anymore, I quit. A lot of you probably saw this coming. Most of you probably didn't. Some people have kind of kind of guessed it would happen. I can't use this logo anymore. Come on, people! You really think I was done with snakes? You're nuts. No way, no how. This collection is going big places, in my opinion. It's still growing. Ah, we got breeding happening. Of course I'm not going anywhere, that's insane. And yes, a little clickbaity, but you're here now. The, re the reason I have you guys here today making this video, this logo, the official original Martini Snake, um, has been changed. And some of you, some of our, my friends, followers, viewers that know about this already, I've been talking to them, getting some input, most of you do not. Um, I wasn't in trouble with anything, just a little bit of a conflict of, uh, not a conflict of interest, but a little bit of too similar to other designs. And it's an error that I didn't catch uh, on behalf, or on the part of my designer, the lady that did my logo the first time. Um, come to find out, the actual snake itself is just a Google, stock Google image. Um, and I didn't know that. So it's been modified slightly, but it's still, the core of it is still a stock Google image. So I started from scratch. Uh, I got some help from some people. Uh, tattoo artist kid helped me draw the original design, then I took it and kind of cleaned it up the way I wanted it, put some inf inspiration to it, and this is the next Martini Snake logo. Okay, I realize that there's no logo here other than the name. Um, but you can tell new font, new color, we're going more, more orange, getting away from the copper a little bit. Uh, let me show you here. This is one design, this is one design of the new shirt, and it's got the new logo on the back, I'll show you here in a minute. This is another design of my new of the new shirts, uh, and they come in tons of different colors, t-shirts, hoodies, tanks, girls, uh, girl shirts, and then there's, there is one other design I don't currently have, but this, this is the new martini snake. How you guys like that? Check that out. It's kind of hard to tell in this picture, so I've got, as you guys remember hopefully, I had these stickers for quite a while. A lot of you guys uh, a lot of you guys ordered them. I had the die cut ones for it too. Cool design and all, but I went ahead and had the new Martini Snake done. Same concept, it's still a Martini. It's still a ball python, but now a dream sickle, because that's one of our main goals this first season. And hopefully, as you can tell on the back of this shirt, it looks awesome. It's huge, it's loud, it's colorful, it looks amazing. Obviously, I've got this one that's got the big logo on the back. I've got this one that's got the wood grain that matches. This is an exact copy of the sticker, okay? And then uh, on the back of these, it's kind of hard to see on this shirt, but it says, follow us online at Morph Mixology and the three things that we're on. And then the other one is this one here, which is basically, actually the, that is this, it's a dead copy of this sticker with the name and everything, obviously right here. And it has that same follow us online uh, on the back. So super excited, you guys. Um, the link is right here. There you go. Storefrontier.com. Look up Morph Mixology Reptiles. Everything's there. I am going to leave, for those of you that like it, I am going to leave the old uh, logo stuff on that site for now. I'm not going to leave it up there forever. Um, but it's kind of a legacy thing, you know, that's where we started a little over a year ago. And, you know, this is where we are now. I'm super excited for this new stuff. I do, 
I do have lots of these, I won't say lots, I've got a handful of both of these stickers still available if you want some of the old ones before they're gone, I'm not gonna make any more. And then obviously, the new ones. Here, I'm gonna pull you guys into the light a little better so you can see what I'm talking about. Hey, there you go, now you can see the color. Let's zoom out here. All right, that's even better yet. Um, so yeah, I've still got, still got some of these if you want those. Um, and then of course I've got the new ones with the dream sickle. Martini dream is what we're calling it. Still a martini snake, but martini dream is the new logo name. Um, and then here I'll give you a better look at this shirt now that it's in the light. Just like the sticker, looks awesome. Follow us online. So, super excited guys. Thank you so much for all the support. Thank you all those on here, you know who you are that have helped us uh, get this logo done. Uh, we are really proud of it. It's gonna be tied into everything. We have new, new tub labels coming. In fact, hold on just a second, I'll grab those for you. Okay, so, uh, I don't know where the other one went. The old style, you guys saw the video. If you haven't seen the video on how I made these, I'll link it up here. Uh, pretty simple, just done in PowerPoint. But as you can see, it's got the old Martini Snake logo watermark behind it. Now, we'll put that one back up here. Now they look like this. Very similar layout, obviously with the Martini Dream behind it. Um, but you'll notice, let me grab Theodore's just for comparison. Old and new. So what you can see is what we did here was we took, because we name all the animals, we took and named all the animals as the, uh, all on the top. Everyone's got a name now instead of uh, a morph. And then I added the morphs down here, the genes uh, down here. Um, I think it looks a lot better. It obviously fits better than trying to do it up here, especially with these that have a lot of genes. And then we went to a different frame that's just a little bit, a little bit less loud. So these are done. Um, I've got new ones, obviously, for the animals that don't currently have one on the tub yet, like uh, uh, Simba and Jack and uh, Sabrina, stuff like that. So. Um, those are coming. Uh, we're gonna get those up. I'm not gonna do a video on it. Like I said, if you want to see how I made the first round, videos right here um, and in the description. It's pretty simple. But uh, yeah, so we're excited about that. Logos are changing in here. Obviously, they're gonna be on all of our clutch cards, the whole nine yards. Um, upcoming projects. Stay tuned for next week's video. It should be next week, hopefully. Uh, if not, it will definitely be the week after that. I got a lot of building I'm doing. This is literally being shot. Um, yesterday, Tuesday the 11th, or Monday the 11th, excuse me. Um, I've got a lot of projects to do this weekend. I'm building three more rat breeder six highs, doubling my rat production. I gotta finish the maternity, the 10 tub maternity rack for the rats that I started over a month ago. I finally got the stuff to finish it. That video is gonna be all kinds of in a weird timeline. Um, we're gonna get two 28 quart male. Uh, so the same width as the big 41, but not obviously as deep. We're gonna get two 28 quarts built for males to upgrade some beef, uh, some snakes. Gotta get the hatchling rack done for over there, the 72 tub, that's coming up. I got all the stuff to finish all, this, all these projects finally. And the one you guys have been waiting for, the incubators. The incubator project is coming along. I have them all out right now. Um, because I need to work on them, obviously. So the Rockstar one is still up and running because we are so close to ovulations on a couple girls. So in case I don't get it done in time, I've got this ready. Um, this one has actually been spoken for already. So it's going to a new home once these other ones are done. Got the Sobe one. It doesn't say Sobe on the front anymore. We're gonna put a marquee with our logo on it. The new Martini Dream, obviously. Uh, I got all the stuff to finish this. This will be the video on this one. Um, cause this is all I'm going to need for this season anyway, but I am going to finish the double door, uh, pizza hut one that's out in the garage cause it has to go in the back of the closet first. So I'm going to get them both finished, but the video will be on this one. Look for that next week, hopefully, if not the week after, and then look for the rest of the rack build videos coming up after that, the, uh, rat stuff, the 28s and the hatchling. And then we are like, right, like I said, right there when it comes to breeding, um, 
I've got three girls now, not just Fiona, the biggest one, she's 3,300 grams, but I got two others beyond that, that are probably inside of a week from ovulation. Everything, everything's pointing in that direction. Everybody I talk to says it looks like that. So we are right there. Obviously ovulation happens roughly three weeks. I should get a prelay shed roughly a month after that eggs on the ground. Uh, so we're going to do a video on prepping egg boxes, obviously, because I use these orange tubs uh, not, you know, the standard ones you see people use, which is not a big deal, but I'll show you how I'm going to prep the egg boxes. And then it's going to be, we're going to be into, into hatchlings. So a lot of stuff. The next 60 days is the next probably six to eight videos is going to be exciting. We got a lot of stuff coming. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for all the support. None of this would be possible without you. We're so close to 9,000 followers on Instagram, that 10 K mark, it's right there. I know so many of you that watch these videos are not subscribed to this channel and likely do not follow us on Instagram. That go, that should change. 10 K is right there. And the nice thing about 10 K, the number is not overly important. I, I'm incredibly grateful for where we are. But the nice thing about 10 K on Instagram is in the stories, I'm able to put a swipe up feature with a link. So if I do a story post about hatchlings and you guys watch it, I can have a link in that story that goes right to Morph Market or to our website to look at the animal, ask about it, purchase it if you're interested, stuff like that. It's gonna make it so much easier for us to reach you guys with the stuff that we're making. So um, Instagram, right, Morph Mixology. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Obviously you're here on YouTube already. Subscribe if you're not here already. Um, definitely, it's a huge deal. We're over 4,000 subscribers here, which blows my mind. I can't believe that's happened so fast. Uh, I'm certainly, Certainly not catching Miguel or Brian Cusco or those guys anytime soon, but I'm on my way. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys enjoy the new logo, Store Frontier, Morph Mixology. The link will be in the description as well. Head over there. And if you do pick something up, tag us in, in a picture uh, or at Morph Mixology, hashtag Martini Snake. Um, I'd love to see you guys in it. If you're in a show that you, that you know we're gonna be at, come out, you know, represent, that'd be sweet. So thank you guys for everything. I will see you next week with a lot of projects coming up. All right, guys. Thanks. See ya.